Hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. I think it's really uh, good that we're going through the book of Matthew right before the elections here in the United States. Uh, because the book of Matthew reminds us of who's truly king. Uh, the focus in Matthew is that of Christ as king. Uh, we've already seen this in our reading yesterday where we saw Christ was of a royal lineage. Uh, there stated in his genealogy, uh, but then also in the virgin birth, he's also uh, born of God, the Son of God, uh, which alludes to Psalm 2. Uh, we also saw in chapter 2 of Matthew the whole issue of who is the king of the Jews. Uh, Herod the Great had held that title, but then the Magi came and proclaimed another person who was born king of the Jews. And, of course, we know all the consternation that that brought in Jerusalem and the surrounding area. But the main uh, subject there was, who is the rightful king? And then in chapter 3, we see the inauguration of the king with Jesus being baptized. And then the Lord and the Holy Spirit coming down upon him to anoint him, just as any king of Israel would be anointed. And then God the Father. Uh, proclaiming that this was his beloved son in whom he was well pleased. Again, an allusion to Psalm 2. And then uh, we see him going into the wilderness and uh, undergoing the trials and being proved as the appropriate king for this kingdom. And uh, in chapter 4. And as we get into the Sermon on the Mount in chapters 5 through 7, we'll see really a, a detailed description of the kingdom. And some would call this the constitution of the kingdom of God, where Jesus really lays out what this kingdom is all about that he is proclaimed to be king of. And in ch chapter 5, we see the nature of the kingdom people, where it talks about them being poor in spirit, and so on and so forth. Uh, we see the influence of the citizens. They are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. We see also the law of the kingdom, uh, a law that is uh, even more uh, restrictive than the Mosaic law because it goes right down to the heart, not just uh, outward actions. We see the single-mindedness of the citizens of the kingdom in chapter 6, in the first part of chapter 6, not being double-minded, not uh, being engaged in religious things for selfish reasons, but really being truly and absolutely dedicated to God. And then we see the focus of the citizens in the latter part of chapter 6, not distracted by money, not distracted by the cares of the world and anxiety, but really being focused on the kingdom, trusting that God would provide all things as one is trusting in the kingdom. And then in chapter 7, we see the relation of the citizens to others uh, in connection to judging others uh, and treating other people right with the golden rule. And then we see the pathway of the kingdom with the narrow and the wide gates and uh, a little warning in connection to that with the pro false prophets. And then kind of a concluding statement by the Lord in showing that the citizens of the kingdom should really listen to this quote unquote constitution of the kingdom and really follow it. And if they do so, they will find a firm foundation. So this whole Sermon on the Mount really is focused on the kingdom. This is the king basically describing this is what I want my citizens to look like. This is what I want my citizens to do. This is the type of heart I want them to have, and so on and so forth. And so as we read the Sermon on the Mount today, this would be a good opportunity for us to really focus on the fact that we are citizens of a higher kingdom. As wonderful as it is to be citizens of the United States, how much greater is it to be citizens of the kingdom of heaven? And hopefully we can readjust our minds and, and really focus on who truly is king in our lives and, and give him the absolute and complete allegiance and to surrender to him and also to check ourselves to make sure that we are living lives in accordance to the Sermon on the Mount and seeing if we have been really uh, exemplifying the true nature of the kingdom and the way that we live. So here's some things we can reflect on and think about as we do our reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.